just watching Star Trek First Contact on a widescreen in Parker. There we go. <laughs> so we're charging for free. Oh my god, that is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> right, 20 minutes later and you've gone all wrinkly and, and I'm supposed to go crinkly. crinkly. <laughs> it does, you are supposed to do that. Yeah. Welcome to a new vlog. Marcus Jack, we're going for a drive. <laughs> come on, come on! Nick's been up since 7 a.m. He actually got up earlier than me this morning to uh, charge the car. Finish charging car, it. And then tell them what you found when you went out as well on the roof. So last night's vlog, when we were sat on the sofa, a flock of geese flew over and I actually cursed and said, if they shit on Parker, I'll get a gun out and I'll shoot them. What did I find this morning? A big slapping turd of shit straight on the top of the window and dribbled all the way down. So I've just had to wipe it all. We don't own a gun, just no, to we clarify. Don't. No, we don't. And we never will. But it'd be worth buying one to get rid of the geese. <laughs> so, Nick wants to go and sit in a local car park. And no, I don't. Yeah, you Nick do. wants to drive to the nearest charge point yeah. and then re-top the car up and see how fast it does it. And how the technology works and things like that. I've been doing some reading and we're probably going to get a pod, a portable home pod fitted on the lodge so we can charge it quickly within two hours. Otherwise it takes four. So we're going to go and sit in the car park, plug Parker in and... Go just... for a cup of tea maybe? Yeah, we could do, I suppose. Because it's actually, when you plug the, the charger in the car, it actually locks the charger when you lock the car, so you can't pull it out, so nobody can steal the cable. Right, come on. Okay. Just watching Star Trek First Contact. On a widescreen. In Parker. There we go. <laughs> Does it turn off, though, when you start driving? Um, Should do Well, it will for this, because it's infrared camera, but we're driving on pure electric now. Yeah. So as you can see, there's absolutely no... Be careful. Careful what? Whatever that will be. Picking up the bush in front. Oh, not available, so you yeah, get the audio. That's good. that's good. So let me just park it, hold on a second. Park Parker, and then you go. Uh, I think you should even take the audio off as well for safety. Well, you can't really say anything. Sorry, that, that's just coming from a USB drive down there. Yeah. So let's go to a local car park and uh, just right, sit there. Let me pull this out. Wait a minute. Right, we're heading to this car park. Unfortunately, it's raining. If it wasn't, I'd have gone and got a coffee or something. Um, so we're in energy flow electric mode. This is the energy flow. Pure electric this Pure one. Pure electric, so it's coming from the battery to the electric motor to the wheels. Uh, we just put the air, uh, the heating on because it's a bit nippy today and it started using the fuel. In a quarter mile, leave the roundabout at the first exit. Thank you. So this has got Tom Tom in it as well. Um, so electric mode is all going. We've got 26 miles left on electric. Ooh, it's, so. telling me to, it's now telling me to coast. Now it says we're coasting. So charge the battery a little bit. Yeah, so it's now gone to, down to charge mode. However, we're slowing down, so I'll have to accelerate again. I mean, we can always go out in the rain and just get a coffee. Leave at the first exit. Thank you, Tom Tom. We found the uh, pod point, which is actually what it's called, pod point. So when you're out and about, it's a different charger because it's got the pod, the uh, charging things on each side. Have you just grabbed keys? Yeah. And uh, charging fees do not apply when you're charging your vehicle. So it's free to park. Yeah. Free to park and free to charge here. Yeah, that's good. So they've nice given the pod points names, Emma and Ivan. So plug in the cable, select the pod point in the app. You've got to add the app on your um, phone and then confirm charge. It's a seven kilowatt uh, charging station. So you've got Ivan, Nick, you've got to go and put it on your, on your phone now. In the car. Right. Let's have a look, Sis. So, if you lock the car, it actually locks the cable into place. Right, are we on socket B? Uh, Ivan, it's called. They're both called Ivan, Emma and Ivan. Uh, yeah, it's B, yeah. Right, confirm charge. Uh, oh, yeah, it's come on, Steve. So, we're charging for free. Oh, my God, that is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, we can now go shopping. I know, but I don't, I don't like leaving that yeah, in but there. I'm lock it. So when I lock it, wait a minute, let me get your phone now. And my bag and stuff, I need all my stuff. So when we lock the car, this locks into place, yeah. Should do. So somebody'd have to really come and rag it out if they we wanted it, it, I suppose. No, you you do it, you do it. Right. There you go. Locked into place. Locked. Well we go have a coffee. Back at the car already after two minutes because we forgot the face mask, so we can't go in any shops. Where'd you put them? They're in middle centre. We're just coming to uh, Yorkshire Trading Centre. We want some mats. We have had, we've ordered some proper IKEA ones on eBay, but they're not going to come for a while. So these are just seven quid, so they'll do for now. They'll just do for protecting uh, the.
the floor and what have you. Ooh, do we need that like this? No. Super pack, what is it? It's something that you need in boot that's solid by the oh, okay. what, other what one. about a car boot liner? No, no. You spent, too much time with, you spent too much time with saddle. What about a microfiber we polishing don't need cloth? Alright, uh, come on then. Come on. Nice. Sharing it. What is it? Ham and cheese toasty? Smoked, uh, smoked cheese and ham. Yeah. And it's really lovely. So uh, we just got a nice English tea. We're in Costa. Um, this Costa isn't participating in that um, money off scheme thing. So it must just uh, be certain ones. But oh well, while ever we're in here, the car is charging for free. Oh, <laughs> right, here we go. Cheapy mats. Cheapy mats going in, just for now, protect the uh, protect park's floor. And um, what percent are we charged up to? We've got 10 minutes to go. But well, we're not sitting here for 10 minutes, we're off. We are sitting here. We are not sitting here for 10 Nine minutes. minutes. Get it, Dad. Oh dear. Right, get me that gun. This Which imaginary gun that we don't have. Well, I'm going to buy one. A pea shooter. Well, I'm afraid you can't keep cars clean forever. Especially when there's geese and birds flying around all over the place. <sighs> right, I'm off to get a cloth. I hope that water's hot enough for those masks. Very hot. It needs to be scalding. It is. It's, it's a shame you can't put a bit of bleach in it just to, just to kill any germs off. Mm. Um, mistake that we did make is we put the... Um, the filters in and then we ironed them and it's ironed the filters permanently to the mask well, so got, it's melted a little bit. Yeah, we've got as much out as we could do. Oh look at that, Parker's out there. Parker's out there having his little charge. Again. Right, so it's some hours later. Lee's been for a nanana, -na, mock up like a face with a slapped ass. I've been outside um, trying to work out the power systems for Parker. I've charged him and I've worked out it's actually cost 91p to charge him and for the equivalent in petrol it's, what did I say? £3.78? So, economically, it's about a quarter of the price to run an electric car than it is to run a petrol car or a diesel car. So, it's now time to do HelloFresh because we're both starving. We still have some risotto left. Um, but tonight, we're having um, honey mustard glazed pork. It goes out of date in the 30th, so we've got to have it tonight. I'm just um, sorting Frank and Craig out with some free merch. They were our competition winners. They did the design for the drink world, so. A item competition um, to design some new merch, and uh, Francis and Craig came up with that particular one you'll see on the store with the big glass with the world in it. Like, yep. We rack the world, so they're getting a t shirt and a, a mask uh, with that particular design. And you've ordered us some, haven't you? Because there's an offer on at the minute. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So, uh, but yeah, our want, our merch store is not actually us that produce it. It's yeah. actually another company. But um, right. if we want to buy it, we have to pay for it as well. Yeah. So. But they, the feedback we get so far on we do spreadsheets um, is fantastic quality and they have a branch in America and they have a branch in Germany which covers Europe. Mm -hmm. So, right, time for tea. Ooh. No, 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 no. I want no, to have a look. I want to have a look. It's Spitting pork, very nice. Are the pork chops or pork loins? Pork loins. Well, yeah, because chops have got uh, bones in, haven't they? What's that? Cabbage and leek. Uh, cabbage and leek with I've put some garlic in as well, it doesn't have to do it, but I have. What's these things? Apple and sage jelly, whole grain mustard. I thought you said it was supposed to have you, you didn't get mustard just there. I, mean, I know, I've just found it. Honey. So, yes, I had a snooze. I've just been doing some work too. Hi, Francis and Craig, your order is on its way. Um, and um, I've just been feeling blur today. A bit blur. I don't know why. It's not often I feel blur, but today I am. I've been pissed off and in a mood, but you know what I mean. Just my turn to be in a mood. It only happens once every every so often. Are you talking? Because <sighs> I can't hear a thing for this fan. Yeah, you're looking for? I'm looking for the absence of a drink. Well, I'm cooking. look no further, because there's the absence we of a drink. We need to clean the lunch tomorrow, it was supposed to be today. Can't tomorrow, we've got company tomorrow. The family and the girls are coming, we're off to the beach. Oh, I've got a socket to fit outside, I'll be really busy me. Sorry, well actually I don't mind having a day without you. Bye. Um, so that's happening tomorrow, as long as the weather holds and everybody gets up on time and comes over. The family are coming, the girls, they want to go to the beach because they've not been to the beach this year. Um, so that's happening tomorrow, hopefully later on today. I'm going to do this um, My Perfect Facial and face wash just to show you what it's like. So. I might look 10 years younger later tonight. I'm not saying anything. Bit 
There you go. Thanks. They look nice. What's on them? So uh, there's mustard. Mustard and honey. Now this has got a big wedge of fat on it. I don't know why they send meat with fat on it. Because it bulks the weight up, I'd imagine. It's still a big, it's still a big loin, so that's fine. It's not, so I've just chopped the bloody meat off. That's all fat. You want it? No, thank you. Very nice. sweet. It's got apple jelly, it's got garlic, it's got um, mustard, honey. Should be very sweet. Nick is just sat in the car. Just sort of sat there playing with everything. <laughs> All the buttons and, and stuff. So I think I might go out and say, let's just go for a drive, because I think he's desperate to go for another drive. You coming for a ride in Parker? I couldn't get out in time to surprise Nicky came in. <laughs> so let's go, I'll drive, you can play without buttons, and then we'll get back and I'm gonna do my facial. Come on then. Come on, you don't need your bloody bag, you're only going for a two minute drive. <laughs> Bringing it just in case camera battery goes or anything like that. So you brought a bag for a camera battery, so that makes sense. I like my bag. How are you liking your little drive? I'm liking it, but... I I'm finding that I'm looking, well not looking at the dashboard, but it's got this mode where you can make it charge itself if you're driving really efficiently, so I'm going to be like OCD over that. Yeah, time. you need to make sure you watch the roll before you do that. Do. So, uh, yeah. It actually me. sounds like the monorail, when you get on the monorail, doesn't it, when it goes yeah. So we've just been for a little drive, about five or six miles. We've got so many miles left, uh, we've got 27 miles left on the, on the battery and we still got 170 mile in the tank, which is basically what it was yesterday when we picked it up. That's it now for car. Parker's done for the day. Well, maybe. I've just got a few more things to test. Right. I said I'd show you this My Perfect uh, box, which we got from uh, My Perfect Eyes. Company. No, it's not called My Perfect Eyes. I know, Eyes. but we, all, we know it's My Perfect we Eyes. So, um, we got gifted this kindly by My Perfect. They got in touch with us when they saw Nick's uh, review. And Nick uh, uses a various a couple of uh, their products. eye products, um, not just my perfect eyes, some other ones as well. Um, so they asked us if we wanted to try these. So I said, oh, well, let me have a look what they are. And, and since they... everybody said on um, last night's Instagram post that Lee looked like an old skank, we're going to see how, very, how good this yes. is. We get emailed a lot. I just wanted to say this uh, about taking free products and reviewing them. 95% of them we say no to because it's just things that don't... Um, you know, doesn't go in line with our um, channel. Um, but this, you know how I like my face masks and stuff like this, so I was like, ooh, I will have a look at these. So, so we've so, actually got a facial yeah. and a, is it like a night wash? This is a My Perfect wash. So Can't really see that, but let me just focus in. There we go. So this is My Perfect facial and then that is for... This is uh, one which is quite coincidental. As you know, I've just started washing my face on an evening rather than using um, wipes. And this is my perfect wash. So it's a gentle foaming amino acid facial wash for vi radiant, visibly clear skin. So what do you have to do? Use that first and to wash your face and then use the facial? No, this or? is like a daily thing. Um, rinse thoroughly and pat dry. For best results, use morning and night before applying my perfect day or my perfect night cream or obviously any creams of your choice. So I'm going to start using that on a night now. I so just, back end of this vlog you'll see him slapping that on. Well I might have to do it now actually because I haven't even right. opened this one This yet. is the one I want to yeah. see. So this is the non-surgical face lifting treatment. It gives dramatic, dramatic results in an instant leaving a refined and radiant complex for a more youthful you. And right listen to this. The revolutionary formula stimulates and exercises the facial muscles to tone firm and tighten your skin, leaving you looking up to 10 years younger. Right, so let's get close up here of what they looked like before, and then what we'll do is we'll add that picture in at the end here of what it looked like okay. after. So I'm actually 43 years of age, I know it's hard to believe. It's the hairline. So I'm hoping to look 33 at the end of, of whatever I'm doing. Right, what do we do? So there's a picture on the back of a, a sample person. Before there we go. And after. But if you look like that, then I'm going to get another bottle. <laughs> so, I mean, I might have to go off camera yeah. and read all these. So we'll pause the camera now no, while I we go. Want, I want to show what's in there. Stop interrupting. This is my turn. Activator gel. We've got collagen silk. We've got ooh, a measuring scoops. spoon. Oh, we can use them afterwards for uh, coffee. Uh, a brush. And then underneath, let's have a look. We've got 
the My Perfect Facial Elevating Powder. Now there's enough in this box to um, up to five facials. Bottles, five facials basically. And if you look in the comments below, My Perfect Company has actually given us where are we? A money off code for you guys to use. For you guys, uh, the discount is that that's the code and there's also a link in the video below if you click yeah. on that link they can um, that will then that code will then work when you click on the link below and it gets you 10% off I believe yeah so I'm gonna go there's an instruction I'm just gonna go read this quickly then we'll be back to see what we do right so it says in the instructions take the large spoon and add one level spoon of the activator gel which is the activator gel that one right one large more. one level spoon of the large spoon of that I've just had a, a wash um, okay. Needed one, just could forget. It's so, one large level spoon. Yep. And then basically take the medium spoon and add one level spoon of elevating powder. Okay, now mix together. Oh, it's got to do your neck. I'm not doing your neck. Yeah, your neck. You do it as it says. Yeah, but you've already got a chin that's really tight. Right, so one, two, three. Next is um, three. It says don't move your face. Like right now, under your, under your nose. Mm, why does it always feel nice when people put things on your face? You won't see that in a minute when it tightens. Okay. Uh, four. Then we have to do up your nose. Mm? Mm. As in like that. Um, six under your eyes, but not in your eyes. Turn your bonds. And then... And then seven... Maybe we should do it on you, you've got more of a saggy face. You're the one that people are saying that you look old. Everybody says I look perfect. Right, can you feel it getting tighter? A little bit. Right, Just here. a little bit. Let me get your nose done. Because I didn't put much on your nose. Right. Right, take a... We'll be back in about eight minutes. Right, 20 minutes later, and you've gone all wrinkly and... and I'm supposed to go up crinkly. <laughs> it does, you are supposed to do that. Yeah. So the next step now is basically to go and wash it off with a damp sponge. I'll just explain the feeling that I've had for the last 20 minutes. I feel like my face has just gone... That's not how you described it to Hannah. Well, I, I won't describe the um, the way yes. I described it to other people. No. What something feels like when it's drying on your face. Um, right. So. so now you need to damp sponge, dab it off with, wa with, with water. Yeah. And then once you've done that and got it all off your face, then you're going to put the remaining uh, product on. Collagen soak, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do a comparison photo. Right, so I'm taking it off and it's like, it comes off quite easy and it's like a big release when it comes off like... Oh. Like, it's, like your skin's returned to normal stretch. Yeah. Now I know what My Perfect Eyes feels like when it's under your eyes because that does actually pull the skin and hold it pulled to remove the, um, the puffiness. Um, so I imagine it's probably the same ingredients in it. Right, you shout me when you've done that and then we'll put the next bit on. Okay. Right, so this is the final collagen thing. Yeah, so I've taken it all off. Is this what it says to do in the instructions? Yeah, just, um, wait a minute. It Any particular says, pattern? Yeah, it just says, once you've done that, oh, this feels quite smooth on my face. Smooth over the face and neck in upward and outward strokes. So, up, under, that way, that way, that way. Let me do it. No. Let me do it, I get satisfaction from doing it. Give me, give me the, give me the thing. Really? You just like putting, it's like putting powder puff on, isn't it? Well, I won't know. Have you used it all? I've never, no, there's, there's, That's you, not the same direction. You're just kind of painting it like you're painting a see, wall. Go. Right, wait a minute. There you go. Hold on. There we go. Maybe I should have done this before I, I went out rather than at night. Then I looked beautiful when I'm outside. Yeah, but you haven't seen anybody to, to look at you. 
Maybe you can put it on. Will you keep going further back? Right up my nostrils. I'll right? shove it up your ass in a minute. Right then, comments below, does Lee look younger? <laughs> no, to be fair to the product, it does say in the first week you've got to use it three times a week, then twice a week, and then once a week um, for it to keep up. Right, there you go. So that is what it looked like after, and then that's what it looked yeah. like before. Like I said, so. I don't think it's supposed to like work instantly. It's 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 a tr an ongoing treatment that you've got to uh, keep applying. Right. So we basically, we'll have to do a we'll have to do a verdict after a week or so. Yeah, I'll do it another. But don't forget, guys, if you want to try my perfect stuff, um, the details are below. Click on the link. Use yeah. that code to get ten percent off. And thanks for my perfect for sending us those to review. And I've still got the um, the face wash to um, try as well. Right. Snacks. Did you say snacks? Yeah. We've, we got these today from the Yorkshire Trading Company when we yes, got them yes, car mats. Give me the we were hoping they were going to be like a, 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 a sports mixture alternative. I mean, they are, but they're very um, soft. soft and chewy, not, aren't they? Yeah, but they're better than jelly babies. Oh, I don't like jelly babies. They're fruity yeah. and they're not sugary and they're not really, they're not like granulated sugar. Yeah, whatever. Really nice. I'm going to get some as well. Only a pound at Yorkshire Trading. We're snackish tonight, aren't we? Very. I have not had these since I was a kid. I don't think I have. Finder's pancakes. What's in them with this? Well, it's bird's eye now, but apparently Finder's bought bird's eye or something. Mm. Hot Beef enough. Mince. Hot enough. Think so. Hot enough. Hot enough. Mm. Hot enough. Well, not much in them. Maybe they forgot <laughs> to fill it. <laughs> well, they weren't like that when I was a kid. I need a bit of HP sauce for mine. Oh, don't wreck it. Well, they were not what I thought they were. Well. When I was a kid, there was nothing like that. I really enjoyed it, actually. Oh, it was tasteless. It was like dog meat. Dog, the, I mean, I the pancake you was the same. You were picking the wrong one. No, no, no. When I used to have them as a kid, it always used to taste really beefy and really gravy, and chicken that just it. tasted of nothing. Chicken ones are better. Chicken and mushroom, cream, like a creamy chicken sauce. Yeah. Um, so we're getting to the end of our day, guys. So we're going to finish the vlog soon. Tomorrow. The However, girl, the girls are coming over tomorrow with my sister, and we're going to go to the beach. They're going to bring some food for like a, a little picnic. Um, and um, there you go. And we're looking ten years younger. Yeah. Now, yeah. I don't. I do actually think it's giving me a bit of a glow. You know what I mean? It feels nice, my skin. It must be that collagen lift. Oh, you feel sticky. It's that collagen lift. Uh, thing. Don't get that on pillar in bed. It's nice, nice, nice. So this afternoon when um, Lee went for his nana nap, I had to go under the lodge again. And I didn't like it. So there. Is that it? Well, yeah, I can tell you what I did if you like. I'm not bothered, really, to be honest. Just shortened some power leads and moved a network switch and things like that. And I moved the uh, corner lights um, smart plug and put it underneath onto the CCTV so I can remotely reboot them without having to get under. So there we go. So I've noticed on Instagram and um, on our Orlando group, a lot of people uh, buying annual passes for Disneyland Paris and going not. to Disneyland Paris. Just let us know in the comments below, guys. Have you decided to go to Disneyland Paris instead of uh, Disneyland, Disney World, Florida? Yeah, it makes sense because you can drive. And the annual passes are so cheap. Yeah. But we still won't be going. No, because I think it'll be about a month and France will be locking down again. And we don't think we'll be going to Disneyland. Florida in December. Either. No, well, I it's think we've booked, I think we've written that no, that yeah. one off, haven't we? I don't think we'll be going abroad this year. Well, the money for the cruise is due on the fourth of October. Well, whatever money we spent, we save. I'll just have to buy myself some new presents. Well, we've them. now just got our refund from Virgin Atlantic, but they didn't refund the bubble seats. So However. I had already raised the charge back with the credit card company just in case they delayed it anymore. And yeah, I got yeah. an email this morning saying that they'd refunded the £70 for the bubble seats. And it's been on the news today that Virgin are in trouble now for um, not processing refunds yeah, the very CA quickly at all. The CAA are going to take legal action against them. So, anyway, so. thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button below to become a lodger. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. Drop us a comment below. See you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye.